Hi friends, it's Sarah from Plan Sarah Plan, and today we're taking a look at new spring notebook designs, covers, and layouts, as well as new accessories from Erin Condren. First of all, a big thank you to Sam Kerr and the Erin Condren team for sending me this box of goodies to review. I have done a long or more in-depth review of the new writing tools from Erin Condren in a separate video. So if you're interested in the writing tools, I will link that video below. So let's just go from top to bottom. In this pretty little mid-century circles folder is a set of sticky notes that are vellum. They're circular and they're a little bit transparent. So when you place these on the paper, you can actually create a really neat look by layering these. So let me show you what I'm talking about. So because these are vellum, you can write on them, but I recommend that you use a permanent pen when you write on them. Otherwise, your ink is very likely to smear. But look at this look. You can see how they overlap and how that they are somewhat transparent. So when you write on them, I've got a micro perm pen, but a Sharpie would be nice, anything permanent. Looks very nice. And then if we were to write on the paper underneath, there you go. So it's just a beautiful little stylish sticky note and these are vellum. And they come in a little folder. They're on a clear little flap that you could tuck into the pocket of a notebook or into your on-the-go folio, one of those pockets that come in that interior organizer that you can add to your on-the-go folio. And they fit in here if you like. But I will probably leave these out of here and do something with this, like, for example, I always take my packaging and I do something with it because it's so pretty. So I've got, hang on, here we go. I have one of those Xyron sticker makers and I just took some pretty Erin Condren packaging and ran it through my sticker maker so that I have some mid-century circles stickers. I've also made bookmarks. I just think this is beautiful stuff. Okay, so next up, pop socket. You can also get the colorful layers pop socket, but here is just, it's a unique Erin Condren style pop socket. And here is one that I showed in a previous video. The difference in these two, just so you know, this one says premium. That's because this is heavier. This is metal. And if you don't want something that weighs a lot, this will be a better option for you. It just says pop grip. It does not say premium on it but it does the same thing and it's lighter weight. So instead of metal, this is more of a plastic here. And you know how pop sockets work, uh, maybe. I didn't until I looked into this one and got some feedback from you guys. But you basically attach it to the back of your phone and it provides a way for you to grip it. You can use it as a stand to prop up your phone so you can watch videos or movies on it. Next up is this Washi Tape Duo, which is functional, but it's a new option because it is the days of the week in a silver metallic. And then you have days of the month, dates. So you can use this one through 31. We'll save this for a moment until we get into the notebooks and then we'll try it out. All right, this is a new design in Erin Condren's soft bound notebooks. And what I love about it is this gilt edging on the sides in gold, and then you have metallic accents on the mid-century circles outlines. So this is the design, if you're not aware, with Erin Condren, this is one of the signature designs. It's called mid-century circles. And so we've seen different manifestations of this design. This one's an outline, and sometimes they're all colored in and, and really beautiful. This, for example. So this was the original look of the mid-century circles design. So this is a soft bound notebook that's in a vegan leather, and it's very flexible. It will lie flat. You can get it in dot grid like this one, which has numbered pages. Here, wait, 
there you go, numbered pages and an index in the front. Here we go. And you've got a name page and then just this spread here, two page spread for an index. So if you're into bullet journaling, you know how this goes, where you just put something that you've added to your bullet journal and then you add the page number. And in the old days, we, um, <laughs> Uh, in the old days was last year when I was doing this in a bullet journal that did not have numbered pages. You had to number them yourself, which is no big deal, but this is awfully nice to have the pages already numbered so you can keep track of what all you have put in this book. And Erin Condren's soft bound journals are always really nice on the interior here inside the covers. Lots of little nice details such as, let's see here, it come, goes to 121 pages, but you get a satin page marker, ribbon page marker, and you can get this in lined, but if you do get it in lined, you will not have the index and you will not have the page numbers. It will just be a straightforward lined notebook, soft notebook. So this is an A5 size. I have several of these that I use for different things. Um, like I have one that's dedicated just to Christmas and I keep track in it of, for example, when did we put up the tree? When did I mail out cards? How many cards did I mail? When did we decorate the tree? When did we uh, watch our first Christmas movie? Um, I have one that's just dedicated to stuff like that. It even has guest lists. If we have any Christmas events, I will have just a fancy little Christmassy decorated guest list for people to sign. And I just dedicate it to just Christmas lists. But this is also just a great bullet journal where you can kind of use it to create your own planner. So you would draw your own calendars in here. You could draw your own weekly spread. Even if you are not really a bullet journaler, if you like to keep to-do lists, this is a great, stylish, beautiful book for that. Next, we have a new cover, and I am crazy about it. It is a butterfly cover with gold metallic accents. So hopefully, I believe that you can see the light reflecting off of this. And this is with a gold coil. So Erin Condren offers you different coil options. You can get platinum, which is a silver coil, at no additional charge. So platinum is your most affordable option. You can get gold, and that is an upcharge. You can get black and rose gold. The reason that Erin Condren notebooks are special compared to, for example, a notebook that you pick up in the stationery department at Target, is that, for one thing, the substantial thickness of this coil is one thing. This is just a really nice coil. Another is that the covers are a very thick laminated design. They're all beautiful designs. The covers are interchangeable. So to change your cover, you just pull this off. And so that way, if you want a cover change without changing the notebook or the planner, you can have a new look by just changing the cover. The notebook covers also fit the planners, so you can mix and match there. This is the productivity layout, which looks like this. You've got, you've got like a two thirds of the page, just about where it's just plain lines. And then on the remaining third, you have a checklist. The pages are perforated, and you can see that there's a different little pop of color on each of these. Now, you don't have to get a notebook that's this colorful, but I will talk to you about the other options in a moment. Back to the reasons why an Erin Condren notebook is special. The paper is super thick. It is 80 pound Mohawk paper. And this is the same luxurious paper that Erin Condren puts in their life planners. So look at all the colors that you have as you flip through this notebook. Love this cover, really nice. And I love that cover with the gold coil, beautiful. Here is a new cover design. So this is just a cover. If you were to order a cover without a notebook, it would come like this with a little plastic wrapper on it. It says this cover is interchangeable and you just peel that little label off. And then on the inside of the covers, you can use wet erase markers 
or Sharpies to write to-do lists, AM routine, your PM routine, phone numbers, email addresses, contacts, doctors, whatever information you need to keep, keep handy. So Erin Condren does have wet erase markers. This is more of their bold tip style and they have a fine tip style also. This one is just gorgeous. And then this is a whole new layout for the notebooks. It's a three subject notebook. We have not had this before in Erin Condren notebooks. So it's a three subject notebook. And this has another layout option. Productivity layout is colorful. This classic lined version is not colorful. It's just aligned and you get the little Erin Condren logo, but it's not colorful. So this might be good for a nice professional look, or if you just don't want that checklist on the sidebar, then this would maybe be what you're looking for. And because this is a new three subject notebook, there's also a new feature, which is kind of like the dashboard that we have in the life planner. There's this long box that's lined and then you get two smaller boxes, one with four check circles in it, another that's just totally plain, and then a dot grid section. A lot of people use these for habit trackers. You could also chart progress on various things. You could draw a little graph with it, or you could just use this as a vision board section. The possibilities are endless there. On the back of the divider page, so as you open this up and you get to one of the dividers. On the back of each divider, you will get that dashboard layout page. So there are also stickers in the back. So if you get the classic lined, your stickers will look like this. Here are the stickers in the back of the productivity layout. This is the neutral look. And there are other layouts for these notebooks as well. Okay guys, so here are your five options. Classic lined, productivity, which are the two that I've shown you, dot grid, which is what the soft bound notebook had that I showed you a while ago, sketchbook, which is just blank pages, and then brand new, you can get graph paper. So you have five choices, lined, productivity, dot grid, sketchbook, and graph paper. You also have the option of getting the seven by nine size, which is what I've got here. That's the same size as the life planner. Or you can get a standard US letter size of eight and a half by 11 for five additional dollars. So there is a new petite journal called the Time Is Now Petite Journal, and the pages are blank, like sketchbook pages, but they are kind of soft pink. They call it cherry blossom. So here's a closer look at that. And here's what the cover looks like. It's in the petite journal called the Time Is Now Petite Journal. The three subject notebook, you will not have a choice of page types. They will be lined pages and it will be a seven by nine notebook. So the three subject notebook does not come in the larger eight and a half by 11 size. You can customize it with your name on the front or with a saying. It has 160 lined pages and you get those dashboard pages, which is something that the other notebooks do not include. And it will have a platinum coil. The only customization you will be able to make is adding your name, first and last name, or a saying of some kind to the cover. You can also add cover photos. I believe the cover photo would apply to the back cover only, but I just love that watercolor print. This is really pretty. Inside this three subject notebook, I wanna try out the new productivity washi tape duo. These washi tapes are different than the other productivity washi tapes. This one is days of the week and monthly dates. So for the first through the 31st. The month that we're in begins on a Friday, then you would line up Friday with the first and then the dates would line up. I believe I would go like this, something like this. And then this would be really great for mapping out my plan for the year in teaching. Now I'm only getting to the 29th of the month, so you would have to start all the way up here at the top of the page in order to get 31 days. 
but you could do it definitely. You just need to start up here if you wanted to map out the entire month. The other productivity washi tapes that we have had already are these two, the checkbox circles that I mentioned and also the times of the day. So this one goes from, I guess, 12 a.m. to just all the times, <laughs> all the times, 12 a.m. to 12 p.m. and then back to 12 a.m. And then the check boxes are like this. So they, they line up perfectly in these notebooks, okay? You wouldn't wanna use all four of these like this. Um, I can't think of why you would want to use all four like that, but it just, this shows you that these line up perfectly with the lines in the coiled notebooks. If you're planning to use the productivity washi tape, I would go for the coiled notebooks. And of course, the vellum sticky notes will also work nicely to help you accent certain parts of your notebooks if you decide to use these. They come in a very neutral look of hexagon vellum sticky notes as well. And I believe those are all grays, maybe dark to light gray, but they're both just beautiful, very beautiful. And you can see the lines through them. So just very nice. You can swap out the covers. This is the platinum coil. With the three subject notebook, you will have to get a platinum coil. But with the other notebooks, these are fully customizable um, from your coil to your cover to the type of pages that you have inside and whatever you want to have it say on the front and even including some photos on your back cover. So you have lots of options. I believe you can get your initials on these. Let me check that. No, you cannot put your initials on this mid-century circles one, but you will be able to choose between lined and dot grid. If you do want to personalize, go with a solid color softbound notebook because you will be able to add platinum foil, rose gold foil, or gold foiling for an upcharge of $5. So let's just personalize one of these. See how many characters you can have. It says add the year, the family name, etc. So let's see how many A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V. Okay, so I, I got to T. So let's see if they will let us put a space in there. Yes, they will. So you could put your whole name as long as it's not super long. I have five characters left after I wrote Plan Sarah Plan, and here is what it would look like. Hopefully you can see that on the screen where it says Plan Sarah Plan. If you're shopping for a student or even for yourself, you might want to consider getting either a Planny Pack or one of these little pouches. This is the new canvas pencil pouch that is purple and it's canvas and it has a zip pull and it's just the perfect size for holding a few pens. So if you take, let's put a couple of mild liners in there, a mechanical pencil, all of that fits fine. I still have a little bit of room left. I could even put a little ruler in here. Yes. And maybe some correction tape. Yes. So these are great little accessories to add to your notebook purchase. So this is what it looks like on the softbound notebook. You can use it to hold your notebook closed or just put it on one cover. And that way you can open and write in your notebook and keep this um, attached. It will also fit on a seven by nine notebook the same way you can do just the cover or you can hold your notebook closed by doing the whole thing. Fits just fine. There you go. I don't have an eight and a half by 11 notebook here to try it on, but I'm gonna guess that that would be a tight fit. You might be able to do it, but uh, I wouldn't count on that with the eight and a half by 11 size. I think 
it would maybe even look a little bit funny, but I'm not sure. So if you're getting one of these little um, pencil pouches, which are not just canvas, you can also get um, a sort of pink one that's corduroy, and then there are a few different sort of velvet pencil pouches. I believe there's black and gray and maybe some other colors, but this is the new color and the new material, canvas and purple. If you are looking for a way to organize some of the different things on your desk, this is a very economical option. This is a set of four desktop organizer pieces. So I will open this up and show you what all you get in here. Okay, you probably can't see all of these beautifully, but I wanted you to see that they all have the outlined mid-century circles design with a gold metallic um, accent. And look at the gold hardware on this little magazine storage box, which I don't actually buy magazines anymore, so I think this is a great planner storage box. Also a great storage box for your coiled notebooks. So much room in here. You could put your life planner. You could put a binder in here. Let's check it out. There we go. Now stay tuned to the end because I have something to say about the champagne binder. It's more of a reminder. Okay, so this is a great storage option to kind of keep things, notebooks and things that don't stand up by themselves. So um, like, this is one of my to-do list notebooks. Actually, this is my vision journal, sorry. Um, but it doesn't stand up by itself all that well. So this is a great way to store that. I've got my A5 budget book that I could probably also fit in here. Yeah, yeah. So it's kind of neat. I'll turn it sideways so you can see. I still have plenty of room up here. So you could certainly hold taller things. Definitely, you could hold the teacher planner in there. You also get this nice tray. So there's gold hardware on this tray also, right here. So you can label what you have in it. There was gold hardware on this, the same little label situation. You've got detail in here of the mid-century circles with gold accents. The bottom of it is just a plain sort of off-white. This matches that softbound notebook so beautifully. There's your softbound notebooks. It looks like these were made to go together. And this is like a clever little storage box that has a removable insert that will divide your pens or pencils into different compartments. So you can put your highlighters, scissors, pens, you name it. Handy little thing. And then you have a mail sorter, which is nice and big. So you can use this for any number of things. You could put compliment cards in here. You could put stationery in here. Let's try a few. Yeah, so there's plenty of room for the usual size here. The folded note cards, got some flat cards here that are larger. Those fit just fine. And I've got some letter size envelopes. Put compliment cards here. Let's see if the envelopes, no, you wouldn't wanna put your envelopes that way, but they fit in this back one compliment cards here. Also, I have one of those no contact thermometers that I use in my piano teaching studio. Um, I have used this to stand it up. After I've cleaned it off, I just kind of stand it in here. So I have another set. And in my piano teaching studio, I use this as kind of like my check-in station. Um, I have some hand sanitizer that fits in one of these compartments. And then I've got my thermometer and a few little forms and things, so it's just kind of a handy way to organize the little check-in center. And this is a giant hole punch that fits. You could put your binder hole punches in here. That fits. So it's just an organizer. It's a great way to kind of keep the things straight on your desk. So I said I had something to say about the champagne binder. This is my um, budget planner from last year and I made my own page lifters for it, but I wanted another one of these champagne binders. And so here's what I did, you guys. People are always asking me, why doesn't Erin Condren sell the binders separately? Well, I just got another one, and here's the deal. If you scroll down to the bottom of the planner binders, and I don't mean these up here, 
although these are great deals if you actually need a life planner. But if you're just looking for a binder, go all the way down to the monthly planner binders. You can get a monthly planner binder for $26. And I guarantee you that if Erin Condren were to sell these binders separately, this would be about what they would charge for it. I remember when they used to sell three ring binders, they were in the 20 something range. So this is the time to go ahead and get one of these monthly planners in order to just get an extra binder. So I did this and of course I've got these pages that I am not planning to use because I already have all the planner pages that I need, but there are lots of note pages in here that I can use as refills. There are stickers, I think. Let's see, let's see, y'all. This is what you say in the South when you're trying to get a, your point across. Y'all, there are two sheets of functional stickers in this monthly um, binder. You get an extra pocket, you get extra calendars, you get, of course, monthly pages, but at the back of every month, there are notes pages. So pull these notes pages out and set them aside if you don't need the calendar pages, and you are really getting a good deal. You're getting two sheets of stickers, a pocket, some notes pages, and a binder for $26. So I recommend that. And that's gonna do it. Thank you guys for joining me for this. Look at the new designs from Erin Condren that are gonna get us set for springtime and new cheerful designs. I am so appreciative that I had the opportunity to receive these and share them with you. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.